Hi, I'm Paul, the gin guy, and today we'll be having Linden Lime Gin. Linden Lime Gin is produced in Scotland, in Edinburgh to be precise, or to be more precise, in Port of Leith, which from what I read in Wikipedia has a kind of a bad boy reputation among the neighborhoods of Edinburgh. Being a London dry gin, it means that all the botanicals, they are introduced through a process called redistillation, which means in the beginning the manufacturers, they take a high proof uh, neutral spirit and then they add the botanicals and distill the mixture over a multiple number of times to achieve a desired alcohol volume. So where does linden lime come in then? Well, the thing is, uh, it's actually a very interesting story because uh, there was a doctor whose name was James Lind and he lived in the 18th century in Edinburgh. And he was one of those people who discovered that eating citrus fruit helped the British sailors recover from scurvy faster as opposed to those who didn't consume any citrus fruit. The name of the gin is kind of a tribute to both the name of the doctor and his observation. Linden lime gin is infused with seven botanicals and of course juniper there is a predominant one because it's a London dry style of gin after all. But it also has angelica root, licorice root, orris root, damn that's, that's a lot of roots, and uh, coriander seeds, lime peel and of course pink peppercorns just to give this gin a spicy kick. At 44% ABV or alcohol by volume, this bottle of gin comes in a 700ml and I really like the design because it has kind of reference to lime with this green color and if you look at the bottom of the bottle it has Leith Glass Works printed on it which is the name of the manufacturer of these bottles and the bottle cap makes a really satisfying sound let's see let's see if the microphone can pick it up yeah this one I like well enough history let's get to tasting so for the tasting part, just like all the time, we're going to taste it neat with the soda water and tonic. And after that, we'll decide which one tastes better. So first, let's taste it neat. I will just free pour. Oh, it does smell nice, actually. Oh, oof, mama. So on the nose, it kind of smells like your typical London dry gin, but with a slight kick of that lime zest, and you can definitely smell it. Wow, that's... it's very smooth. Wow. I'm not a fan of drinking gin neat, but this one, honestly, just on the rocks, with ice, I would definitely give it a go, because... You can taste that spice that comes right in the end that kind of hits you when you don't expect it. So right now let's taste it with the soda water and just like in the previous episodes I'm using 25 ml of gin in combination with the Laoshan soda water and if any of you know of a better soda water please let me know in the comments below and I will give it a try. It's really smooth and it tastes like your typical London dry with just a little bit of zest. Unfortunately, maybe it's uh, because of the soda water, I cannot taste uh, any peppercorns nor that spicy kick that was present in the neat version of the gin. It disappeared. So, tonic is up next, and just like in the previous case, I'm using 25 ml of gin in combination with the East Imperial Tonic, which is historically appropriate for this gin. Right now, let's give it a taste. It's bitter, and yeah, the bitterness of tonic just kind of... I wouldn't say destroy, but it definitely diminishes the whole... the thing that the manufacturers are trying to achieve. But if you do drink this gin with tonic, just get yourself something more, uh, more from a budget category, because there will be no difference in between this one and your uh, regular uh, Bombays and stuff. So we tried gin neat with soda water and with tonic, and honestly, I like it neat more than um, 
with the soda water or tonic simply because you can taste all the botanicals there. Again, for like social drink and casual evening, I would probably choose the soda water. But if I'm by myself in a, in a random park with a bottle of nice gin, I just drink it neat out of the bottle. So there you have it. This was Lind and Lime Gin. Please consider subscribing to our channel and pressing that like button. And see you in the next one. Oh, those clothes. <laughs> Imagine breaking the supply, oh god. Okay.